ハロー、アイム、アタミクジ。And welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Kiro Morita. The September tournament concluded this past Sunday, and what a competition it was! As the Empress Cup winner was decided in an extended climax. Today we feature Atami Fuji, a young up-and-comer who commanded the center stage for most of the competition. Please enjoy Atami Fuji highlights. In the September meet, the 21 year old Atami Fuji was competing in the top division for just the second time. His opening day foe was Koto Shouho. A strong charge by Atami Fuji. Atami Fuji is in command and attacking with a firm left hand grip. Koto Shouho does a great job resisting and remaining in the ring. Atami Fuji fiercely attacks Koto Shoho again. Koto Shoho wants to escape, but Atami Fuji overwhelms Koto Shoho and forces him out. A very impressive start for Maigashira 15, Atami Fuji. Atami Fuji runs into Dai Shoho. Dai Shoho absorbs the charge and they lock up. Atami Fuji is flexing his muscles. Evidently, it is not easy to budge Dai Shouho. Atami Fuji raises Dai Shouho's center of gravity and forces him back and out. Atami Fuji goes to 2 and 0. A sharp initial charge by Myogi Ryu. Atami Fuji blocks him like a brick wall. Yogiri is attacking with a double inside grip, but Atami Fuji shows good defense. Yogiri breaks Atami Fuji's balance, but Atami Fuji quickly recovers and wins by Kote Nage arm lock throw. Atami Fuji's day four opponent is Chiyo Shoma. Shoshima slings Atami Fuji, but the 21 year old refuses to lose. Shoshima gets aggressive and goes in for the kill with outside leg trip, but Atami Fuji holds his ground. The crowd is enjoying this hard fought match. After a little stalemate, Atami Fuji executes Squinage beltless arm throw to fling Chiyoshoma out of the ring and down goes Chiyoshoma. Atami Fuji outlasts Chiyoshoma. Atami Fuji and Tsurugisho go chest to chest right away. Tsurugisho fiercely attacks Atami Fuji. Atami Fuji cannot escape and gets beat. Atami Fuji suffers his first defeat. Mitake Umi is his foe on day six. Mitake Umi quickly gains a double inside grip and marches. Atami Fuji retreats but hits the slap down at the edge. The Gyoji gives the match to Atami Fuji. But the judges call for a Monohi to review the match. Again, Mitake Umi seizes the Morozashi double inside hold and charges Atami Fuji backpedals but hits the step down at the edge. Did Mitake Umi shove Atami Fuji out before his belly hit the clay? It's awfully close. And here's the explanation. The Gyoji gave the match to Atami Fuji. After taking a closer look at Atami Fuji's foot and Mitake Umi's hand, we've confirmed that Atami Fuji did remain in the ring longer. Therefore, the Gyoji's call is correct and the win goes to Atami Fuji. 
Well, that was a close call, but uh, Tommy Fuji survives and bounces back from his day four setback to go five and one. A spirited initial charge by Kagayaki. Kagayaki advances, but Atami Fuji rallies and defeats Kagayaki. Atami Fuji faithful are all excited. Aoyama pummels Atami Fuji. Atami Fuji takes a lot of punishment, but he doesn't back off. Atami Fuji keeps moving forward and dispatches Aoyama. Atami Fuji gets the shallow whip and he steps on the gas. Atami Fuji smokes King Bone down, and this is Atami Fuji's eighth win, which means he has secured a Kachikoshi for more wins than losses. The young man is looking very confident. Entering day 10, Atami Fuji is one of two co leaders. The other co-leader is this man, Takayasu. The two combatants will go head-to-head -head here on Day 10. What a collision! Takayasu pounds Atami Fuji. Atami Fuji retreats but drills Takayasu to the deck. What a strong performance by Atami Fuji! With the win, Atami Fuji is now in first place by himself. He is a one happy camper. Atami Fuji versus Komusubi Tobizaru. Atami Fuji catches Tobizaru with a firm belt grip. And he executes a powerful Watenage over arm throw to take the match. Tobizaru says, I give up. Atami Fuji gets a good hold on Tobizaru. The top contender wastes no time and upends Tobizaru with a devastating throw. What a throw and what a win. Fans from Atami Fuji's hometown are here in Kokugikan. He's meeting Sekiwake Dai A. Shou. Dai Eisho attacks with an all guns blazing thrust. Atami Fuji circles away and is hoping to stop Dai Eisho's offense, but Dai Eisho keeps up his relentless attack and yanks Atami Fuji down. Atami Fuji suffers his second loss, but he still has sole position of the lead with 10 wins and 2 losses. The next day, Atami Fuji is hoping to rebound with a victory. But he meets a rugged opponent in Ozeki Takakeisho, who's breathing down Atami Fuji's neck with nine wins and three losses. It's the showdown. Oh, a little too anxious on Atami Fuji's part. A false start. Strong charge by Atami Fuji. Takakesha swats Atami Fuji from the side. The Ozeki gains a deep inside position and crushes the young hope. Takakesha prevails. And after 13 days, Takakesha and Atami Fuji are tied for the lead, each with 10 wins and 3 losses.
day 14. Adami Fuji is hoping to snap his two-match losing streak. Abi dances to the side. Atami Fuji quickly recovers and catches Abi with a strong grip. Atami Fuji rallies. Atami Fuji marches and puts Abi away. Atami Fuji shows his grit and wins for the first time in three days. In the meantime, the other tournament leader, Taka Keisho, suffered his fourth defeat, allowing Atami Fuji to reclaim first place by himself with only one day to go. The final day. Four Rikishi are leaping at Atami Fuji's heels, each with 10 wins and four losses. With his first title on the line, Atami Fuji faced off against Asano Yama, a former Ozeki. The two lock up. Asano Yama steps on the gas and advances. Atami Fuji doesn't have the answer and gets beat. Atami Fuji loses and he misses out on clinching his first top division championship. After the loss, Atami Fuji returned to the dressing room to get prepared for the upcoming playoff. At that point, he didn't know who or how many opponents he was going to face. And as it turned out, the only Rikishi among the four other contenders to win was Taka Keisho, who set up a winner take all showdown between him and Atami Fuji. Atami Fuji lost to Taka Keisho on day 13, so he was hoping for sweet revenge. Taka Keisho had other ideas. He wants to claim his first championship since January. Can Atami Fuji rise to the occasion to win his first Empress Cup? Or will Taka Keisho beat Atami Fuji again to capture his fourth championship? You can feel the intensity and tremendous pressure on both sides. Atami Fuji charges straight on, but Taka Keisho steps to the side and slaps Atami Fuji down. The wily veteran was willing to do whatever it took to come out on top, and that's exactly what he did, and he completes his redemption. Despite being the leader of the pack almost the entire time, Atami Fuji comes up short and will have to settle for second place. For his great performance, the 21-year-old sensation left the competition with the Fighting Spirit Prize. Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.